Hello everyone. How are you guys feeling today? Great. Do you guys know what I'm wearing? And what is this flower? It's a white lily. And why am I bringing it here on stage today? Why am I dressed like this? The topic for my talk today is what will you leave for the world? Thinking of this question, tons of it would be popping up inside our brain of the answers. Like, what is going to be my legacy? What am I going to leave long after I'm gone? I remember back in my 11th grade when I was 17 years old at the time, I was sitting in my classroom, the teacher was playing a video on the screen, on the TV, in, in our classroom, and he was playing the TEDx talks from famous guest speakers all around the world for us to practice listening and speaking in English, and I was there, oh, how am I going to get on that stage one day? So, I worked extremely hard. I came from the southern part of Vietnam in a place called Khao City. It's like a really small province down the southern part of Vietnam, and people don't have many opportunities to improve themselves. Like regarding self-development activities and projects that were not at the time. So I decided when I got into high school, a specialized high school in my province, the only specialized high school in my province, I was like, okay, cool, I'm going to change that mindset of those people around me in my community because there were no club, no project at a time, no school events that were organized by students that were student-led. I took my chance and I founded my own English club at school. I hosted a really big gala at the end of the year to celebrate Happy New Year and at Christmas at the same time. Those were successful. And I realized that my potentials can help me reach further in the future. And that's why I decided to apply for a scholarship for my university here. And I traveled more than 2,000 kilometers to my, from my hometown to Hanoi to pursue my university life here. And back to my TEDx dreams. Remember that 17-year-old little boy I mentioned in the beginning of the talk? Yeah, he has given four TEDx talks till now. This is my fourth one, and I'm really proud of my journey and what, what I've done so far. Speaking of legacy, thank you. Speaking of legacy, you might think, yay, I have to change the world. I have to like build 10,000 buildings, and I have to help save millions of lives all around the world. The only person you need to save is yourself. The only life you have to make an impact on is your own. I realized that when I wake up every single morning, every sunlight that shines through my window, and I was like, they were there all the time. Why didn't I notice any one of them? Right? It was so strange, even the footsteps I'm taking right now. Why I have never paid attention to my footstep or any single breath I'm taking in and out right now. Why haven't I been noticing them? They are the sources that have been keeping me alive for 21 years consecutively. This white lily here, I bought a bunch of lily flowers yesterday and I decided to pick one of those to bring to you guys. What do you see when you look at this flower? It's beautiful, it's white, and it's pure. And it's extremely gorgeous. But this beauty here reminds me that one day it's going to wither, it's going to die, it's going to go away. But its goal is not to live or exist forever, but to create a value that will. And that value will be a beauty that stays inside each heart down there in the audience. I know you guys will remember this white lily's 
image and we'll even buy some when you get home after this talk. So, when I got to try different roles in university, I was a leader, I was a vocalist, I was even an actor in Hello Opera House at the end of last year, and I experienced tons of new things, I met wonderful new people, and they inspired me to take action. They showed me that this is possible. How could someone who came from such a small province can dream of one day he's going to sing inside the Hanoi Opera House to be the Mad Hatter in the Alice in Wonderland musical? Never. Or how could someone who has a beginning like mine, who was only severely in high school, have the courage to step onto such a big stage, not once, but four times, to talk about how he became stronger over the years? I know you guys out there are suffering from tons of pressures, from the children to the adults to the parents down here. You guys are suffering from financial problems, and sometimes it can be from your own life, your personal self, but we all have that little child inside that we need to heal. Sometimes we forget him or her, but he and she will always be in here. And we need to find her and find him, find you inside of you yourself. The next thing I want to talk about is telling your story. We cannot show people what our legacy is without telling them our personal story, right? Do not ever let anyone tell you how to tell your stories, whether it is in rhythms, or it can be in poems, or it can be literature, it can be music, it, it, it can be acting, it can be so many things. Your limit is your own imagination. Potentials are possible. And do not ever let anyone tell you and conform to the idea that you are addressing vanity because in that vanity of life can we find the greatness. And when I gave a speech for thousands of my students back in my high school, I spoke on stage and I said that each one of us is holding in our hands the pen of destiny to write our own story. And everything you do from now on will write the story you will later have to tell the future generation. When I did a research about his home. I found a really cool video on YouTube of a guy who was a PE teacher doing a flip and turn and then answering the interview question. That was really exciting. And I learned something from him. That is to, yay, I have a story and I will tell my story in my own way, in my own lifestyle. And that inspires me. I take inspiration from everything of everybody, whoever is doing down there and whoever is paying really close attention I'm looking into every single one of you, and I'm really grateful for it. When I started being a content creator online, it was during COVID in 2021. I was struggling at first because I didn't know where my stories would lead me to. But obviously until now, I realized it has been leading me to wonderful places, meeting wonderful people, and inspiring figures that changed my life for the better. I thought I was only writing stories and experience online to talk about myself, and that's all. But it turned out that every single event I went to, there were followers sending me hand letters. Some even wrote like 2,000 words in, in handwriting. Some even drew me, I kept everything inside a box, and half an hour without stress or depressed or burnt out before. Yes, a lot of times, sometimes every single day. But then I look at the box, I check the box, and it was like, oh my god, there's so many things in there. So many things that people told me that how I've changed their life as well. And I read every single one of them, just like this white lily right here. It represents hope. Hope will always be there for you, even in your darkest time. Do you watch Harry Potter? Yeah, I'm Ravenclaw. Yeah, cool. 
So J.K. Rowling suffered from dramas and depressions, and she turned everything into a wonderful series about wizarding world. And you can see how stress or negativity can lead you to a better life, right? If you are suffering from negativity, it is a sign that you do not, you are not knowing how to manipulate it to change your life for the better. Change your mindset. That's the very first step in everything you do. Be the change you want to see in the world. And you now is the compilation of everything you do in the past. Aspirations for the future. But you know what's the most important thing is? A complete focus in the present moment. I'm wearing now is the costume of the Hmong people, one of the ethnic minorities in Vietnam. And I'm, I do not belong to that community, but I'm a Vietnamese person who has always been into cultural insights. And I did a photo shoot yesterday with many other costumes from other ethnic minorities. And I thought it would be fantastic if I can wear one to the TEDx stage today. It was planned to be wearing a vest or a, a whole suit. But I decided to make a difference. I decided to take a risk to show the beauty of these people in, in Vietnam. And I remember the boy, he has to ride 20 kilometers from Hanoi to Echo Park to my place midnight, last night, just to give me this costume. And it was awesome, right? You would never know how impactful you are on someone else out there and even on your own life as well. So spread your stories, set up, take the chance to show us who you really are. And we're not going to be here forever, that's for sure. We're not going to stay here and live for thousands of years. But one day when we are going to leave this world, we're going to be smiling and remembering all the good values that surrounding us will be all the beloveds of our lives. Thank you.